this is the RK2918 smartphone solution. Yeah. So at Rockchip you're targeting smartphone. Yeah. Since when? And since the two, 2009. 2009 you are in the phone already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So this, this is an example of a phone that's Rockchip? Yeah, this example is for a video solution. So this is a... what software is this? You came to... This is a... Great video. What is this software? Yeah. There's no Android, no? Not Android, it's a feature phone. Which phone? Feature phone. For a... Copper is the processor for a feature phone. So this has been on market since 2009? Yeah, yeah. And uh, this is next generation? Yeah, we are developing the next generation based on our 29 series, which is based on the Codex AA, speed up to 1.2 GHz, and uh, full video. So this is a refer uh, what's it called it development board or what is this? A de development board yeah. for the engineers. So right here we can play webm video. Yeah, webm video. The oh, first yeah. hardware chipset in the world to support full HD webm. So what is the difference between a tablet RK29 and a smartphone RK29? There are two solutions. Uh, because, for, as you know, based on the smartphone, the power is more important and uh, add the, for the communication functions, such as the phone and the test and such as the video card. So, so it is special design for smartphone. So how did you do it special? How, what is different? Different hardware design. Where? You can see it, okay, we use this uh, MCP yeah. memory for the smartphone, but for the template, we use separate okay. DDR3 and then flash, right? So this is the special design for the smartphone, and we also have the strong power control solution for smartphone. Which is, is it there? Or? Yeah, this one. That one is a special one, just a smartphone. Yeah, I think to... Yeah. So what is all around here? Just connectors for the development kit or...? And connectors. So your solution will include everything? Yeah, it's, uh, including Wi-Fi, GPS, sensor, G-sensor, light sensor, and the camera, and so on. Is it uh, certified by Google already? Can you have Google Marketplace? And we, we can install Google Market, but uh, you, we have you to want to license from Google, right? So, so how, how soon is uh, the smartphone on the market with this? I think the, uh, two months ago, two months later. Two months already? Yeah. yeah. And how expensive are they going to be? Maybe. About, I think, about uh, $200 to $300. Two, between 200 and 300 yeah. So it's not the lowest cost Android, no? It's, a, it's not middle, the, middle cost. Middle cost. For the strong functions. Alright. Yeah. So middle it, cost for the strong functions. So it's the same function as uh, the top of the line Android today, but it's going to be lower cost than that. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Right. But you're not targeting the less than 100, right? Below no, 100. No, 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 no. There's no designs for that. No, not designed for that. Alright. We have the, our previous. Uh, chipset solution RK28 can uh, touch amount uh, about uh, 112 dollars. But is it done for smartphone or not ready for that? Uh, for smartphone. There it, are some already? Yeah, yeah. It's already right now. Hey, okay. Come on. 120 So, how much? This one? Yeah. This one, this one based uh, on our, on our R9? Yeah, um, 29, yeah. 28, 28 series. 28, which based, Yeah, which is based on the yeah. night. How much is this in the market? In the market, it's it sold in China mainland market about yeah. uh, 1,300 RMB. 
Nice. Yeah. Capacitive touch. Yeah, capacitive touch. The same as well here. Yeah, this is the same device. Right. 